What is up, guys? It is Game Storms here, bringing you some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now, today is not going to be about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, as you guys know, I did get into the closed beta for Homefront The Revolution, and I just wanted to give a review about it since um, I did play a little bit. I didn't really play much, and I'm going to tell you why. So, yeah, I got into the closed beta for the Homefront Revolution. Um, I guess. Xbox just chose people from random out of all their community, and I was luckily chosen for this. Unluckily for the creators of Homefront, because this is not going to be a good review whatsoever. Um, so, we, me and my friends, they give us a friend code. I gave my my friend the friend code. Plus, my one friend automatically gets it because we're file sharing, so he gets it too. So, it's me and my two friends, so I actually had people to play with for this beta. Now the sad thing is, is that there was nothing good about this beta. Um, it is a beta, so I know I need to take it with a grain of salt, but I don't think I could take it with this much grain of salt. Like this is, this was bad, like very, very bad. Um, I've never played a beta this poor. Uh, there was n just nothing to do in it. Um, what they gave us in the beta is they give you three missions to do. Um, I showed you guys all the classes, which. I'll go, I'll go over the few good things first, though. How about that? We'll go over the few th good things. They give you all the classes um, I showed you. Uh, that's cool. They give you a nice selection to choose from. But actually, there isn't. they aren't that good, actually, to be honest. I don't think I have anything positive to say. I'm sorry. Um, you have all those classes. Now, the only thing I'm pretty sure that's different to these classes is their starting ability. That is literally the only thing that's different. I'm pretty positive. Um, you have skill trees, of course, but I'm pretty sure every single character has the same skill tree scales that you can choose from. The only thing is that their starting ability is different than everybody else. That's their starting ability, which isn't really doesn't really change much, and doesn't really change much to the gameplay at all. Um, one thing I thought it was good was the skill tree, how they have it set up, the way they. Well, actually, I'm I don't know if I like it or I I don't like it. The way they have the skill tree set up is that you got money and you got XP for every mission you do or whatever that you're going to do in the beta or in the actual game. The actual game I thought was going to be like an open world type-esque thing, kind of how like the division is where you had to scavenge for some stuff and everything. But it, I don't know if it's going to be like that because they only gave us these missions to do, which was not a very good choice. They should have gave us a small section of the map to go, go through or whatever. But the way they have the skill tree set up, every mission you complete, you got XP and you get money. Now with XP, um, you buy your skills with the XP, which I don't know if I like that or if I don't like that. You get a certain amount of XP each mission, and you have to have a, you have to get a certain amount of XP to buy certain skills and keep going with your skills and stuff. Now I don't know if I like that. The reason why, because I'm saying like. Why couldn't they just do a leveling based system where every time you level up, you get a skill point, unlock a skill, right? No, instead they did this XP, you get XP, and you just stock up on XP to buy skills. And then you get money, which I like what they did with the money. The money thing is actually really good. You have these cases that you can buy, um, and that's what you buy on with the money. Now you can get attachment cases, um, I think skin cases or whatever there's it's going to be up on the screen i'm going to this um the case i opened a couple cases because i only played like two hours of the beta um and those are the cases. there's three different cases those are the cases you buy with your money uh i like that i think that's cool how you actually have to work to get attachments and stuff for your weapon and like that but now let's go to the bad stuff like i said they gave us three missions to do and these missions aren't very fun at all. You literally have no clue what is going on in these missions. They are just so rushed. Um, you don't understand anything that's going on. All you all you basically are doing in these missions is going from waypoint to waypoint to waypoint because you have no clue what is going on and who you're fighting or whatever. I don't. I didn't look into the game, so I don't know exactly what we're doing. Of course, you know it's home front, so we're on U.S. soil and we're not overseas, so we're defending the US from who I don't know who but you do these missions and you just you you'll fight it's like you're fighting waves of enemies that's pretty much what these missions feel like it's like you're fighting a wave of enemies even though you're the one progressing forward it looks it feels like you're just fighting waves of enemies and it's very poor um, also 
for it's running on the cry engine uh, I don't know necessarily how good the cry engine is I don't know if that's the engine that ran the first home front the first home front was a pretty decent game it wasn't the best but if it's if that was the one that was running this game the first game then it is outdated and it shouldn't be used for the Xbox one they should have used a different engine because the engine for this let me tell you folks is is poor now it is the beta it says it's the beta but with how clunky this game is, and they have three months to finish it, I don't really think they could fix everything that I think is wrong with this game. It feels like you're running slow motion. You literally go to sprint, and it feels like you don't even sprint. It takes forever for the game to catch up to speed when you're sprinting. Um, half the time when you go to sprint, it, it won't sprint, and... It's 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 really bad. It's it feels like you're lagging. That's how clunky the game is. It feels like you're lagging, and I know I'm not lagging because I have some great internet. I fucking pay a shit ton each month for internet, so I I never lag on any other game. So I doubt I'm lagging on this game. And it's just it's very clunky. Um, the aiming is very poor as well. It's so slow. It feels it, the graphics of the game just aren't up to par what other games are for the Xbox One. The graphics just not are up to par. It looks like the same type of graphics that the first home front was in. That's what it looks like. And it doesn't seem like they really upgraded on the game at all. Um, when it comes to ammo and stuff, you literally have ammo consumption out the ass. You are basically almost out of ammo at all times. Most of the time you'll end up running out of ammo and you won't have any ammo to fight the enemy. It's, it's really bad. They don't give you enough ammo. Um, what they expect you to do is, which it took us um, a little bit to figure this out. What they expect you to do is to loot every enemy you kill for ammo. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, that's not bad. Of course. Why wouldn't you have to loot for ammo and whatever? The thing is, is that you don't know what you can loot and what you can't loot. You literally have no indicator on what is able to be looted and what isn't able to be looted. Now you know how all other games like when it comes to like adventure or like open world or whatever there's like a light around whatever you can open or whatever you can loot like in the division they have for their boxes or whatever they have a little glowing thing around it saying showing that you can open this or there's a symbol on the maps showing that you can grab this or open this. There is nothing in this game. You literally have no clue what you can loot and what you grab. Um, our first couple times through, we didn't know that we could have explosives or whatever. They give us no indicator that you can pick up explosives and whatnot. So, what you have to do to figure out what you can loot, which this just becomes a pain then, because it really feels too much like a scavenge hunt, is you literally have to walk and look at every corner, look at the ground, and see if there's something you can pick up. Because you have to walk over top of it, and then it'll, it'll say, click X to pick up. Well then, there, you get your pickup, you get your explosives or whatever. But, that's it. And it's, it, I don't know, I'm not, I wasn't happy with it. Um, I don't know if you guys would be happy with it. If you are, give it a chance, I don't know. Uh, as of right now, unless they have another beta, and prove me wrong. I will not be getting this game anymore. It was one of the games I was looking forward to. And now I don't want to get it. And I'm not looking forward to it at all. But don't just take my review for it guys. Listen to other people's reviews for it. It is the beta of course. I, I know that. But it just seems like it's too badly put together. To even turn out to be a great game. And it just seems like a waste of money to me. Anyway guys. If you were in the beta. Please leave in the comments down below what you thought about the beta. And don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Peace.